Keith Harn's Court of the Week. So today I'm talking about what's called the Petrushka Chord, which is a great example of bitonality from Stravinsky's 1911 ballet, Petrushka. And it's basically just this. It's a C major triad, an F sharp major triad, sounding at the same time. Here's the chord in context. Here we have a B-flat clarinet outlining C major, and an A clarinet outlining F sharp major. And they're playing at the same time. Here's the chord again in another context. This is where we hear the muted trumpet playing and the horns playing F sharp. So together we have C major and F sharp. Fun fact about the Petrushka chord, it represents Petrushka who is a jealous and angry puppet caught up in a love triangle. So if you ever find yourself in this scenario, this is the chord for you. And now for the fun part where we get to apply this with exercises. So the first exercise is to run through this voicing through the circle of fifths, like so. Now, if you're not familiar with the circle of fifths, I have another video you can check out here where I explain the importance of it. The next exercise is just to arpeggiate it like this. Another exercise is to move through the circle of fifths again with each hand using smooth voice leading like this. C, F, B flat, E flat. For more on this, check out the video I have on the circle of fifths. The right hand goes from F sharp to B to E to A, and they're happening at the same time, and that sounds like this. So great. And one more exercise is just to take the C major and use F sharp as a bass note. So you're not using the entire triad of F sharp, you're just using the bass note. Run that through the circle of this like this. So those are a few exercises you can practice on your own so you can incorporate the sound of the Petrushka chord into your vocabulary. So thanks for watching and happy practicing. Yeah. Who this? This be Yo, who this? Yo, who this? Who this?